Hi everyone. So now we will learn that how we can populate data in input fields so that we can update the users. So let me show you the screen also like what we are just doing there. So here you can see that we have a list of users with two operations delete and update. So while we are pressing the update button a dialog box is uh, just uh, getting displayed there right. So this is already done that's okay but now what we want we want to uh, just place some input fields there like uh, one input field for uh, email second for age and third one for name right and the data should be pre-filled in these input fields so that we can update the data accordingly and once uh, we are uh, pressing the save button the data will be saved in the database through API. API we will integrate in the next part but in this part we will pre-fill the input fields. So what we need to do for that firstly we will uh, make some input fields after that we will uh, uh, just uh, set the data in the states because currently whenever we are pressing the button data is actually just passing from this list to uh, dialog box right but we have to store this data in the state first so that these state can be bind with the input fields and the data will be auto populated all right and after that in next part we will integrate the update api also so now we can start with the code all right so this is our uh, let me just uh, hide this explorer so uh, currently you can see that we are getting the data for specific user so let me just close it once so let's say i am just uh, pressing the button for anil and uh, Anil name is getting populated there and the data of uh, this user like other data like name, age and email id is also consoling there. So we are getting the data. Perfect. Now we want to create some input fields and then bind this data with them. Right. So firstly I will just uh, create there some text input. Text input like this and keep in mind it should be imported from the react native not from any handler or something you can remove it okay and uh, after that let's close it and we can put there some values like a placeholder enter name or something right here you can see that this is actually not look like a uh, input field but whenever you are just pressing there here you can see that so we can just add some style so that uh, we can add some border and width and all all right so what i'm going to do i am just putting the name of this uh, input field is style uh, input right so just put this styles dot input we, we will use the input uh, object there and there should be only single brackets we don't need to double brackets there after that let's simply put there input font size could be let's say 18 after that width we can change let's say 300 and uh, border we have to apply there so border color could be sky blue or something let me save it yeah so uh, that's fine and uh, after that we can also add the border right so let me add the border also border width could be one pixel let's, let's save it and here you can see that we are getting some border around there so the padding is too much there so i'm just removing the padding from uh, 60 to 15 pi pixel only and now even if you want then you can make it 20 that will be little bit better all right and we need to just add some uh, margin also at the bottom margin bottom could be let's say 20 so that we can maintain some space between the input fields right perfect we just uh, created the one input field we can create two more for enter age and enter email we can save it and we have the whole fields perfect get the name age and input field okay so now what we can do that we can just define three states and pass this uh, selected user data to these states so i am taking three states so let's say name set name use state 
and the by default value could be empty undefined whatever you want const h set h again use state let's make it undefined again last one could be just need to correct this spelling const uh, email set email use state and by default value again will be the undefined perfect but once you are uh, just uh, getting the data in the probes that time we can update the name age and email state as per the probes but how we will get to know that we are just receive the data for that what you can do simply just use your use effect like this and whenever your props dot selected user is updated that time we can just set the name and how it will come it will come from the props dot selected user dot name but we can just simply add one condition also if the props username is defined that time we can only set this right and similarly we can uh, also set h let me just change name with the h and last one is set email and let's change it with the email also right now the next uh, last thing is we can just bind these states with the value so let me put their value and it could be let's say name state value it could be hmm mm -mm. h and uh, the last one value is its email address right and now if we will just let's say uh opening the sunny there then you can see that uh the old data is there one more thing that you can change just change this string uh, age to two string because sometime if you just anyhow you will enter if you will uh, enter the numeric data in this state then the data will be not getting populated there so just need to convert in string format first and we don't need this warning also so let me just remove it also now let's check some other random user let's check for anil is the data is proper for anil yeah age email id name everything is perfectly fine similarly you can also check there uh, yeah guys one more thing actually we have to just put there a uh, array it should be inside the array i just forget that right uh, let's say check for bhaskar details are still correct so that's the way that how we can uh, populate the data in input fields and in next part we will uh, integrate the update api also so please stay tuned like this video uh, subscribe my channel and put comment section in feedback thank you guys